Welcome fellas, in front of you is a low voltage cutoff board. Its main purpose is to protect lithium ion or lead acid batteries against deep discharge. This one over here can work in the range from 8 up to 80 volts. It costs about 10 bucks. It has voltage indicator, trick control buttons, a buzzer and 6 parameters that can be set by the end user. It's not written in the manual but according to the relay over here. You shouldn't expect this to work with currents higher than 10 amps. Let me demonstrate you how it's working with this voltage regulated power adapter and this DC fan. The first parameter, the P0, is the voltage cutoff value or the voltage protection value. Below this value, currently it's 11 volts, the power to the load is interrupted. So let's reduce the voltage to let's say 11 volts and see what happens. And the fan stopped working. The next parameter, the P1, is the power on after cutoff value, showing how much the voltage should rise before the power to the load is restored. Currently, P1 is set to 1 volts, meaning that the voltage should rise 1 volts above 11, the P0 parameter was 11 volts, before the power to the load is restored. Let's increase the voltage. 11.2, the fan is still not spinning. 12.2, and the fan started spinning. The P1 parameter can be set ranging from 0.1 volts up to 10 volts. The third parameter, the P2, is the low voltage alarm value. This parameter triggers the buzzer and the flashing of the AYD indicator. So let's set P2, so let's say 11.2 5 volts. Now let's decrease the voltage. And if we continue to decrease the voltage below 11, the fan stopped. We should raise the voltage above 12, so the fan can start again. Continuing with the P3 parameter, the restart interval after power failure. It shows how much time after power restore event the board waits before powering again the load. Currently, the P3 is set to 0, meaning that the board is not waiting. Let's set it to 1 minute. Now let's increase the voltage again above 12. And now we should wait one minute before the board restores the power to the fan. Unfortunately, one minute is the lowest available setting. And here we go again. The P4 parameter is the opposite of P3, cutoff interval after power failure. Here, however, the time frame is much shorter, ranging from 0 up to 5 seconds, while at P3 it was ranging from 0 up to 10 minutes. The P4 parameter shows how much seconds after the voltage drops below 11 volts, the P0, the load will continue to receive power. Currently, P4 is set to 5 seconds. So if I decrease
increase the voltage below 11 volts, the fan will continue to run for 5 more, more seconds before it stops. Let me demonstrate you. Let's do it again, decreasing below 11, lastly is the P5 parameter, screen time, it controls for how long the voltage indicator over here will stay on, it can range from 15 up to 30 seconds and of course it has an always on setting. Currently it's always on, let's change that, let's make it 15 seconds and let's wait. the screen goes off. Of course, if the voltage drops below the cutoff voltage, the screen will illuminate again. Basically, that's all for this low voltage cutoff board. It has some pretty cool features and it's perfect for some hobby applications. That's all guys, bye for now and see you again.